Hi guys, this is Marley and welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting day because I don't have to water my garden. Can you believe that? For the past almost a month, I had to water my garden every day for my plants to survive because we are in drought, extreme heat, upper 90s, triple digits temperatures. Like this is the first year that I have experienced gardening that I have to water my garden every day or even twice a day. Can you believe that? And today I don't have to water my garden because we got rain. So exciting. Since I don't have to water my garden, I have two hours of free time to do stuff in my garden. So I'm going to be transplanting some okra and maybe planting some pumpkins. I know it's late, but I have some okras that are growing here in my garden that need to be transplanted. They are jammed in one spot and I've been wanting to transplant these okras. They have gotten big too, but then I just couldn't find a good day to do it because it's been always hot and I know that if I pull this plant from the ground, they're gonna die. And so today is perfect because the ground is wet, the ground is ready for transplanting, and today it's not very hot. The temperature right now is 74 degrees Fahrenheit, which is really nice. And I think the high is like 84, so this is pretty cool. In this pot, I have two okras that are growing. Well, you don't want two okras in one spot. See that? So I need to separate this. I uh, was gonna just cut off one of them, but I feel like it's a waste of seedling and it's a waste of time because these plants are already big. So I'm gonna have to move this somewhere else um, so I can get from these three spots, I can get five new plants so that's gonna be five new okras that's so cool right um these two in here are the clemson spineless and then the other one is the red burgundy okra this is the spot where i will be planting those five okras i have prepared this soil three weeks ago i just couldn't work on that because it was so hot and so finally finally it's so exciting to be able to finally plant this okras in here it's a little bit cloudy too so i think this is really the perfect day for transplanting this okras so um, i'm just gonna pull this off the ground um they're the same size usually i pull the smaller plant but these two are similar so I'll probably just get the one on the outer part of the bed it's gonna be easier and there and then I have this one okra that will grow in here I will go ahead and get one from here Oh, I thought there were three. <laughs> there are just so many leaves. But we're getting one. Now this is a smaller plant. And then put this here. And then I'm going to get two from this spot. Because there are three plants in here. Now these three are the same size too. So, I'm just going to get this two here on the side. <laughs> Looks good. Now if you do this, make sure that you water your original plant too. After pulling all of those roots. Okay. So I have four new okra plants to be planted on the other side of my garden. Now next, before I plant this okras, I have this trash bag. I'm just gonna cut both sides open 
to make a long to make a long sheet of plastic. The next thing that I'm gonna do is to lay this trash bag. It's I've cut it open. Let me show you. So I've cut it open on both sides, so it's now a long piece of plastic and then I'm gonna lay this on the ground the bed has been prepped already so it's ready for planting and I'm, I'm just gonna put this on here like this And then it will be blown away by the wind. So I have this uh, landscape pins that I'm gonna use. Uh, this, are, this is also called a landscape staple. I'm gonna secure the sides of the plastic with this landscape staple. And I'm gonna need to add another one to cover this whole space. It goes right here. Um, make sure to overlap the two ends. And then secure that with a landscape pin. So pull this in here. It's perfect. It's perfect length for this area. Next thing I'm cutting an X here on the plastic and then I just fold this in to create a square. Um, I'm going to space them at least three feet apart because okra can grow big. So the next one will be somewhere right here. You can use scissors. You can use a cutter. Just whatever you have. Like that. And then fold it in. I'm gonna make two more spots for planting. The square does not have to be perfect. You just need a hole. So you can plant your seedling. Next step would be to plant the seedling. So I'm going to start right here. I'll dig up a hole. Depending on the size of the seedling that you're planting, you might have to make a bigger circle or square opening in the plastic mulch. this in it looks good and then I'm gonna backfill the planting hole with this native soil uh, 
There's some grass here. I'm gonna have to throw away. Okay. That. And the next one, this one right here. And then backfill the planting hole like that. Push the soil down to remove the air packets. Because the roots were exposed when I pulled them from the ground, this plant will undergo some stress. But um, in a couple of days, this will be fine. We'll probably lose a couple of leaves as well. But that's not something we need to worry about because okra is a heat loving plant. As long as you plant it when it's not too hot and it gets its roots reestablished in the ground, it will be fine. Do that. Again, push the soil down. Okay, next thing that we're gonna do is to water these plants. To water the seedling, we're just going to spray the base of the plant. This sprayer has three settings, shower, massage, and soaker. I'm using soaker right now. Water the base and then let the soil absorb the water and then I'm gonna water it again. I just realized that only the top, probably half inch of the soil is wet. Underneath it, it's still very dry. That's why we're gonna have to water it a little at a time. Like don't dump a lot of water onto it because it will just flood the area and the roots will not be able to absorb that. Um, you can use the shower setting as well. Uh, make sure that the water pressure is not very strong or else it will cause some damage to your plant so again water the base of the plant no need to water the leaves let the soil absorb the water and then with this one i have to water this again i'll just wait for all of the water to get absorbed in the ground and then i will do a third watering if you learned something from this video click that like button and subscribe if you haven't already thank you for watching and see you next time